Good morning. Good morning. It is Friday. Friday, May 27th, 2022. Yes, and we are on the water this morning. Almost, almost to my destination before turning around. So yes, good morning and welcome as you're coming in. Good morning, Donna. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I hope you have your coffee this morning. I have made mine. I have not had mine yet. Yes, so good morning and welcome. Good morning, Lynn. I've already been to your house once today. Yes, good morning. Good morning and good morning, Leanne. Welcome. I'm sure you have your coffee. Yes, good morning. Good morning. It is a rainy Friday. It's more like um, a dripping Friday. Good morning, Jan, and good morning, Elizabeth. It's a little drippy out. It's not like full on rain. Like, it's, I feel like the skies are dripping. Yes. Yeah. So good morning and welcome to everyone who is coming in. We are on the water this morning. Good morning, Karen. Yes. Yeah. So I looked at uh, the weather and it looked like it was going to rain all day. So I was like, oh, well, I'm just going to give her a go. Good morning, Paul and Sue. Yes. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. So, <laughs> yes, I will, I will enjoy mine when I get home as well. I just thought, I don't want to do that. I didn't want to bring it with me this morning. So, <clears throat> yes, yeah, so as you are all coming in, I'm on Kempenfelt Bay in Barrie. And uh, <laughs> I could say it's a beautiful morning if you like rain. It's not bad. The bugs certainly like it. And I saw the fish jumping. So this is, this is, uh, there we go. It's the Kempenfelt Bay Yacht Club buoy. Yeah, that's what that is. It's always a good place to stay. All right. So I'll just stay here. Uh, so this morning, uh, what I thought I wanted to talk about, good morning, Kaylin, and good morning, Elizabeth and uh, Evelyn. Um, this past week, uh, you might find this strange, but sometimes I just can't focus. Sometimes I just, I can't focus, even though I have a lot of stuff to do, and my mind gets thinking about other things, and I'd rather be playing a video game on my phone or scrolling Facebook or doing something else. Um, anyways, so I said, okay, let's just settle down and pray. Let's just take 15, 20 minutes and let's just pray and get refocused and on the things that are important, right? And so as I, as I sat down, I actually turned on my computer because I was going to type a letter to the Lord. I said, Lord, I just want to gaze on your loveliness. I just want to gaze on your beauty today. I just... I just want to see you and uh, so because I was sitting at my computer I decided uh, to type in the most uh, like the most beautiful places on earth I know right and uh, so I typed in most beautiful place on earth hit enter and the images started coming up and I just I just gazed on them and I was like wow these are so lovely and beautiful and awesome and and so uniquely different from each one and the verse that came to mind was uh first corinthians uh chapter 2 verse 9 which is no eye has seen no ear has heard no mind can conceive what the Lord has in store for those who love him. And as I'm just like gazing on these images, like that is the verse that's just going over and over again is, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind can conceive what the Lord has in store for those who, who love him. And as I'm looking at all these different places, I'm like, these were created to be seen. 
Like God created them to be seen and to be enjoyed because that's just who he is. And I just had this such a deep peace in my heart that was like, Jen, I've created these because I love you. Like I love the people that I've created and I want them to enjoy them. Because the thing is he could have just made, he could have just made water, but he didn't. He made water and land and he could have just made flatlands. Uh, my friend Bev K who watches faithfully, uh, she posted, a, she's uh, living in Saskatchewan right now and she posted a picture of the prairies and I was like, oh yes this is why i love the prairies they just go on and on and on and they're so beautiful so the lord could have just made water and prairies but he didn't he made hills and he didn't just make small little knolls he made like big hills and then he made mounts and then he made mountains like it's just when you think about like the way the Lord has created the earth was like so amazing and beautiful. And that idea of no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind can conceive what the Lord has in store for those who love him. And, and as I was Googling, one of the, one of the images that came up was a place in Japan. It's like a bamboo garden. And it said, it's actually the first of its kind to be set aside for its sound, not only for its beauty, but for its sound that there's no sounds like it anywhere. And I was just like, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind can conceive what the Lord has in store for those who love him. And so often we start we can start thinking about what heaven is like, right? And we start to imagine like, what will it be like? And, and it says, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind can conceive what the Lord has in store for those who love him. But it's gonna be really, really good. If, if earth is beautiful, and I've been, I've been lots of places all around the world, I have stood on the Great China Wall and I have been on the Great Barrier Reef and I have been to Banff National Park and I've, I've stood on the shore in Oregon and I have been uh, on the Gulf of Mexico. Like, I have been so many places and they're all so beautiful. And so when I think that no eye has seen or like I've heard some beautiful things. I've heard beautiful, like, people who sit down to play the piano like right now in Barrie there's a piano sitting out um in Market Square um well downtown people can just come and sit down and it's beautiful to listen but no ear has heard we might think that the cry of a baby is beautiful or we might think the words I love you are beautiful but it says no ear has heard and we might you know be able to think up wonderful things But it says, no mind has conceived. And who's it all for? For those who love him. Like, it's just, I sat there in my unfocused state and was able to focus right in on the fact of how much God loves me. And how much God loves you. And the things that he has in store for us, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. He is so, so good. And I know some of you are going through some really tough times right now. And this is the verse that I want you to hold on to right now. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind can conceive what the Lord has in store for those who love him. It's going to be so good, but not just in heaven. Like, today like he has so much he wants to offer us today because he's offering us himself which is beyond what i can ever imagine for i know whom i have believed in and and believe that he is able like to do so much more than we can ever imagine like that's that's who's offering himself to us today so it's like okay lord what am i missing out on because i'm having my eyes focused on what what i can see what i can hear and what i can conceive of i need to put down that thinking and like okay lord what is it that you want me to see what is it that you want me to hear and what is it that you want my mind to conceive that's what i need to be thinking about and then just allow you to take me places that 
you want to take me because you love me, right? It's not just for heaven. It's for today. And so, my dear friends, memorize this verse. Whatever you're going through today, hold on to the truth of it. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind can conceive what the Lord has in store for those who love Him. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a great day. No matter what happens, the Lord is with us and He will see us through. He will see us through. And He is able to do immeasurably more than we could ask or imagine. That's good news. So if you have never experienced the love of God before, today is the day. Don't wait. Don't wait to say, Lord, I want to experience this this presence of yours. I want to experience this goodness of yours. And I know, I know that I'm not good enough to do this. I know I am a sinful person. But Lord, would you forgive me of my sinfulness? And Lord, help me to step into everything that you have created for me. Like that's the invitation to every single person. And I have to accept that invitation every day to say, Lord, I know I'm not good enough. I'm so glad you've forgiven me. And I'm so glad you want to travel with me and want to do immeasurably more than I could ask or imagine. Right? I love it. That's it's offered to every person who hears the message. And that's good news. Let's pray. Oh, Lord, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind can conceive what the Lord has in store for those who love him. Lord, wow, you have decorated this world in ways that are so beautiful and awesome. And you did it for us because you love us and you want us to enjoy it. And Lord, you as a person are so much more than we could ask or imagine. And yet we, we only focus on what we can see and what we can hear and what we can imagine. And Lord, would you convict our hearts today where we are thinking way too small. And we believe, but, we, but help us in our unbelief. And for those that today is their first day in believing that you love them that much, Lord God, would you meet with them in a powerful way that they would experience your presence, your goodness, your grace, and your forgiveness. Oh, that's so good. I am so thankful that you have forgiven my sins and that nothing can separate me from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Thank you for your son, Jesus, who now is sitting beside you, interceding for us. Lord, the story gets better and better. Thank you. Oh, you're so awesome. Help us today, I pray, in your name. Amen. Amen. All right, my dear friends. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great day because the Lord, the Lord is with us. And he's going to do immeasurably more than we could ask or imagine. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind can conceive what the Lord has in store for those who love him. And... God does work all things together for those who love him, who he's called according to his name. All right. So that's it. That's all. Remember to like, share, go outside and help your community experience Christ. Bye.